Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on one of the greatest, like, impressions I've gotten on a knife. I don't know how to, that was a dumb way to say, first impressions on a first impression. The impression that this knife made on me when I opened the box was epic. So, this is the Beer Buster Jr. from Esnix Knives. He designed it, and then Knife Joy collaborated with them to get it made by Riot. And here we are. Um, now, I unboxed it on the live stream on Thursday, not knowing how awesome it was. And I totally regret not doing an unboxing video because if you go watch that live, you'll see my reaction. I mean... I opened the box and I saw this can just sitting in the box and I was like, what? It comes in a beer can? What? <laughs> and guys, it's just so cool. So anyway, it comes in this can. Essex Beer Buster Knives. Looks like a Paps Blue Ribbon can. Has a warning label on it. According to Knife Joy, the purchase of this knife may lead to a habit. Please buy responsibly. And then it has the name of the knife. It's so cool. And then it has, you know, the model you got. Black My Carter is what I got. And the lid comes off like this. You have this. And it was obviously sealed in here. And it comes with this giant cloth. I mean, look at this thing. It's fucking huge and awesome. And probably will never get used. <clears throat> we'll see. Comes with this cool sticker. Again, Pabst. And a Knife Joy sticker. Just so cool. Um... It just really, like, made my night when I unboxed it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Um, now, a lot of people are going to argue the reason this knife is $294 or 96 or whatever it is is because they probably have 50 bucks into this thing, right? That doesn't bother me. Like, I, I love the uniqueness of this um, packaging. Not everybody's like that. You know, I get knives sometimes, like, I brought this up multiple times. I'm going to put this away now, but guys, so cool. Um, I brought this up before, but my Ohlone Knives Goat. Actually, any knife I've gotten from Ohlone Knives. And I love Derek. He's a great dude. Um, it comes in a cardboard box. That's it. You just get a brown cardboard box, and it's wrapped in, like, some foam shit. You know, you don't get anything else with it. You don't get a cloth, a pouch, uh, you know, sticker. It doesn't even have an Ohlone label on it from what I remember. So, for me personally, that's not what I want. I'd rather pay a little more and get cool packaging. You know what I mean? You kind of got to work that into your cost. But anyway, so this is $296.00. It's black micarta. You can see here, I've already worn it in extremely well. And actually, compared to Best Tech, this is maybe a Riot, compared to the micarta Best Tech uses on the Axon, I've carried this like a million, and a million times. I've carried it like 20 times already. It's been in my pocket while sweating my you know face off on a walk or whatever. And I'll take it out, and this side will be completely black like that. And then it dries out and comes back to this. And I haven't been able to get it to, like, stay darkened. It's definitely darker than it was. Um, but it hasn't, like, stayed like that, right? This I've had for two days. And it's already this dark. And it's I don't think it's going to go back unless I, you know, make it. Which, I don't know which I prefer. I like that that one lightens back up. Because I kind of do like the look of Black Micarta before it darkens. But every knife is unique. And, and this has that uniqueness to it now. So, you know, it's not an issue for me. I will say, it kind of looks like it has, like, sweat lines in it. Right? I'm not sure that looks awesome. Let's zoom in. Um, I have not carried this. I'm going to be up front with you about that. So I don't know if this clip has any issues. It looks like it has decent retention. Um, the pants I wore yesterday, and I try to wear pants more than once if I can, like jeans, if I don't get them dirty. So I'm wearing them again today. They have super thick seams. Like, I'm kind of... Um, yeah, so it is a little tight, I would say. Um, 
they have super thick seams and I'm like just getting into my jeans from for the winter. So I've had shorts on all summer. I haven't really worn jeans. So this is the first time I've worn these in like a year. So I don't, I have to like remember how my jeans are. And I know I have one or two pairs that are super thick like that. And you can't fit certain knives in the pocket. Like I literally couldn't fit the Axon in. I couldn't fit my field. My field duty like just fit the EDC. The ball would pop over. Um, and I could get it to fit. Um, so I ended up carrying the, um, let me zoom out. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place. I ended up carrying the Waypoint yesterday and today. I just got this yesterday as well, so it worked out. Um, Quiet Carry was gracious enough to send me this to review. Um, man, this thing is fucking awesome. I forgot how good it was. It's just not fidgety. You know, that's kind of the thing. You're not going to get a drop shot. It is enjoyable to flick and stuff, so that's good. Um, but anyway, this wire clip, fantastic. goes right over those thick seams and then in my back pocket i've been carrying the sea otter because this clip also very good retention it's not too tight it'll pop over stuff like that and um stay in pocket um, i really like this clip i don't love the look of it overall i mean i do it's simple right i i do i wish it was like a fancy looking 3d mill clip or something yeah or a wire clip i don't know if that would look good but it works fantastically so they nailed it on that um that'll give us a quick size comparison that's a three inch blade i believe they're marking this guy at like 2.6 i didn't realize it was that small when i got it and it doesn't really feel that small which is kind of weird here's the waypoint i want to do a comparison between the waypoint and the sea otter and i'm trying to get a thumb stud tactile rock wall because i feel like those would all be a perfect um comparison all three of those i think they're all different sizes um and they all have studs and they're all thin like this and they're all just plain titanium just be perfect anyway here's size comparison for you i believe the waypoint is three and a quarter but let me confirm that this is the axon at three and a half i don't know yeah i guess it's about Yeah, about a quarter of an inch longer, I'd say, right? This could be more like 3.3, .3, honestly. Um, but anyway, that gives you an idea of the Essnix Beer Buster here. Let me put away the Sea Otter and everything. Back in the pocket you go. Um, yeah, so good size. I mean, for me, a large glove size hand, it actually fits. Like, I fit all four fingers, all four hands. All four fingers on, you have this kind of space kind of flat here in between, you know, where it opens up and the blade. So you actually get, and I think maybe that's why it feels longer than 2.6 because you have this section here um, that wouldn't be added into that, but ergonomically it is. So it feels really good in hand. Um, I get in before this kind of point right here because I do feel like if you had big hands, that would probably be an issue. You wouldn't want a finger like on that, right? Uh, but I can get in all the way. And guys, this blade is just fantastic. This is M390. Again, I forgot to do the overview. Um, here's that micarta. Again, it kind of looks like it has sweat lines in it. There's very good uh, hardware, of course. You have your beer bottle crest, which is just awesome. Your awesome pivot. Look at that tooling. Just amazing tooling on that pivot. Very Pena like here. Esnix, and I do believe Pena gave his blessing on <clears throat> a lot of these similarities, but I can't be certain of that, but I think that's the case. You have a belt satin, machine satin that I love so much. You have a nail nick that's um, aesthetic only. I'll show you that in a second. You have this cool little swedge right here, which is awesome. And then you have a very traditional sod buster blade. And that's why they're calling it the Beer Buster Junior. Um, on this side, you are clean. Look at that. It's a flat grind, excellently done. And I show the Esnix logo right there. I mean, look at this beauty, guys. 3D milled clip. We'll see how that clip pans out. It does look a little tight to me, but we'll see. Um, and then here's your bottle opener down here, which is cool. Which, guys, I know it's kind of a novelty thing because... 
I just don't, I don't see a lot of bottles anymore these days. Even for beer. I drink a lot of beers that come out of cans. Um, but here is the uh, spine of the knife, the back of the knife. There's your back spacer. Goes into the, here's the top. And there's your top flipper. Very Pena-like, right? Um, I do like it a little better, actually, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think the detent is dialed perfectly. And I think having a liner lock makes it so much better. Uh, Pena does do the bolster lock, which is nice, but it makes it hard to disengage because you have to get into that small area. And if you're left-handed, if you put your thumb anywhere near that lock, because they are small knives, right? So um, even though it's a bolster lock, being so small, when I go to do anything, you know, you're near that. Um, and you don't have a clip to grab onto, which is still the case here. But, like, even right-handed, you see where my finger lands, like, comfortably? So, I don't know. I just think the uh, the liner lock is the way to go. Just look at that. And watch this. You can disengage it from, like, all the way down here. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, you don't really want to do that, but... You can just have it drop right there and bang. Like, it's just really, really good, guys. And that top flipper is dialed in. Um, I love doing the reach around. It's just excellent. I think I saw this knife on another channel. I think Stasa has one of these, Nick. Um, so you might get similar kind of overviews here. I apologize for that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I got it the other day and I was just so excited and I was pissed at myself for not unboxing it on camera. Usually, you know, I try to do everything on camera, but occasionally I'm just like, I don't have time I'm doing a live stream. I want to get it out of the box, you know, uh, let's cut something and then we can wrap it up. So the edge on this is just amazing. Uh, M390, you guys know I suck at cutting, so this is probably me. There you go. I mean, it's just so good. It's super thin behind the edge. Um, I don't measure shit like that, but, I mean, it's got to be low teens at, at most would be my guess. Possibly around 10. Um, but I'm sure... Again, go check out Nick's video. He might have done an extensive cutting test and all that kind of stuff he does, which is cool. Um, you get a little bit of a different take there. But centering, dead nuts as usual from Riot. Um, you know, that's something I was talking about on the live stream last night I did with um, Red Wolf EDC. We had a Halloween live stream on his channel with a couple of uh, other channels. Shout out to Backpack B um tier one was on there we had uh blades and fades i got to meet him for the first time um did i say backpack b already i'm not sure who i'm am I missing anybody kyle dtom knives and gear was on there red wolf obviously um i think i'm missing one person i just can't remember i seriously apologize i'm sure it's somebody i really like too <laughs> um but yeah uh it was a blast and um I forget what the hell I was getting at. So, sorry. Um, but yeah, I was showing this off on that too. And I just I just love this thing so far. Oh, I was talking about Riot. Um, <clears throat> that's what I was talking about on the live stream is, you know, for me, guys, you guys, if you watch my channel, you'll know like 60, 70% of knives I get in have an issue of some sort that I need to fix by disassembling and just, you know, tuning up which a lot of times takes care of it, um, or I need to send it back and get a new one or, or whatever it is, right? Um, and that never happens with Riot knives. I, I was trying to rack my brain and think about one knife from Riot where I had to send it back because the centering was off or, um, you know, that, or even got the knife with a centering issue. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even have to, like, tune them. I like taking them apart right away that's just me but i don't just have issues with them and that's what i really like about riot um and yeah so that's my stance on why i love riot so much and i'll pay the premium for it you know like i get it not everybody wants to pay 290 whatever for this I totally get that but to me this thing is amazing guys it's just so comfortable in hand it slices well it's modern traditional looking 
this nails it for me. Like, I am not a slip joint guy. I've tried recently. I just can't do it. But this is like the perfect medium for me when it comes to that. Um, I can still rock something that looks traditional like that. Um, but I get to flip it. You know, it drops shut. You know, drops to my nail, sorry, I should say, and then shake shut. And um, it cuts really well. It's ergonomic. It's a small little backup knife. So uh, anyway, that is it. I absolutely appreciate you guys tuning in for this. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this knife. I know we're going to get a lot of people complaining about the price. Um, they are available. These are available right now. You can go get them. You just can't get Black Micarta. Um, now, when this posts, I don't know if it'll be available, but Natural Micarta and um, Green Micarta were available, and I think there's a Damas Steel one, which might be in Black Micarta, so you might be able to get Black Micarta. Um, totally worth it, in my opinion. Again, I haven't been able to pocket it, so I can't talk about this clip yet. Uh, wait for the full review for that, if you want to wait. Um, but I mean, Riot usually does a good job with clips. I mean, I don't fear this clip, it just... And I had plenty of other knives that wouldn't go in these pants. So it's not, you know, I don't blame the knife. I blame the pants. These super ass thick fucking seams. Um, yeah. But that's it, guys. I love you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.